How to use AnyDesk. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can use AnyDesk. Now, AnyDesk is a great place to work. Let's say, for example, you have two computers and you have all your information into one desktop, but you have only the other computer. So what you can do is to have access to another device with the other device. So you can track and access any device at any time from anywhere. So, and this one actually is totally secure and fast. So how can we get started into AnyDesk? What I wanted to do is to go into anydesk.com and here what I want to do is to choose the option that says download out now. Now before we can get started, I can show this just to compare the different prices that the application has to offer to you. They have the solo, the standard and the advanced tools. So both three of them have a little bit high account prices, but you can see all the things that is going to be included into your actual account. If you just want to check it out, the free version, I can scroll a little bit down and check it out that we have the free version. We have the order now, standard, bands, and ultimate. So if I want to check it out, for example, I want to make some file transfers. I want to have the remote restart, remote printing, or I wanted to have, let's say, like a custom alias or one address book. I most have a solo account. Here into the free version, we only have access to mobile devices support of Android and iOS. We have the three managed devices. We can have the one registered account of TCP one address, limited support, two-factor authentication, and just one profile. So I think it's like really, really great to use this for, let's say, like starters. But if you want to use this for tracking data for transfers to have like one or two desktop into just one place, I think it's going to be really, really worthy to have this solo web version. But if you just want here to check it out how it's going to be working, let's go into the free version and hit into get started. So what I want to do almost as any kind of section is to choose the section that says uh, platforms. In my case, I want to choose the windows. Here into file name, I want to choose saved. And here what I want to do is now to install this application that has been downloaded into my downloads. So now as you can see, the actual installation of my application, it was really, really easy. I just need to download the file and hit into open. Now that I'm here into my open version, what I want to do is to do exactly the same thing with the next application, with the next tool that I have available for the download. So what I want to do now is to show you something really easy, which is actually my uh, phone number. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing into my phone. So I believe that here is going to be appearing my address into my phone. So into the upper side, what I need to do is to type the address that appears into my actual uh, application. I'm going to go type here this actual number. And then I'm going to go and type into continue. It's going to be appearing the warning application. So I want to use allow access. You don't have to be worrying about that. So it says connecting. So it's going to be appearing the actual connection into my actual application into my another device. So what you want to do is to let's say that you are aware to the rest. You don't want to show the warning section is wait, wait a few seconds. And then I need to hit into accept. So we're going to wait a few seconds here to remove devices from starting. The system will be restored automatically. And we have this free license available now in here. So now as you can see, this is my actual phone and I have now access to it and I can just have the access to how it's going to be looking my actual website and my actual account. So as you can see, I'm actually making the movement of my actual uh, account. So what, what I can't do is to try to click into in a specific account is to try to click into a, a specific application. I need to do this using my actual computer, my actual or whatever you want to use. In my case, I am using my phone number. So that's the reason why what I want to do is to have a startup plan. If you want to just check it out, how does this application work? What I can strongly suggest to do is to type here and if you want to check it out, all the elements that the actual AnyDesk has to offer to us, what I wanted to do is to type into the start trial license. So it's going to be asking to register an account. So what I want to do is to choose I use AnyDesk 2. You want to go into support family and friends or let's say work from home, connect to my personal advice property, whatever you want to do. Let's go for support family and friends. I have my first, my last name, provide an email as well as a passcode. Repeat that passcode and then you want to agree to sign it up and agree to the terms and conditions and hit into register. So let's go back into our applications. Now we're going to be inside our anydesk.com app. So what's going to be showing me here is the protocol so I can get started with free version. 
So as you can see, here's my account. I can see that it says your license totally for free and I can choose start a trial. So this one is going to be sending me into the order of anydesk.com so I can start a free business trial. A business trial is like the most accurate option that you can choose once again. So we have the first once again, last name, the email, uh, telephone, the company, the job role, how we're going to be using uh, anydesk. And you want to agree to all the general and supplementary terms and conditions in heading to I am not a robot and heading to request a trial. So you just need to wait till this one has been approved and then we can continue. So as you can see, I have just sent the request and now I'm able to enter the end desk using the other version. So as you can see now, I'm able to see the user management. I have the version number two. I have the mission sets. I can have custom client generator, client management, decision permission profiles, and much more. So I can go into my users and here have invite users. I can add something more, someone else's into my actual company. And then I can go back here into my actual AnyDesk and type into a new session so I can open something more and I have a new address. So as you can see, it actually it's actually the same address. We can add more recent session. We have the scrubber, we have the invitation, and we have so much more sections. Resources. Lastly, if I go into the installation, as you can see, it says the accept and install. So what you want to do is to enable this option if you want to start a menu shortcut, if you want to enable auto update, if you want to install any test printer, and so on and on and on. In my case, I don't want to do this at the moment. So I'm going to just click into the X mark once again and hit into yes. And lastly, let's focus into our AnyDesk dashboard. Inside our AnyDesk dashboard, what I want to do is to locate my address book. This one, we have the personnel and the team section. So as you can see, I have a default. I can add an address book if I wanted to. Now this actual address book, if I click this one, is going to be helping me to customize all the entries and all the tags that I have available into my uh, address book. So I'm going to go into create an entry. And here, let's say I want to type a nickname. So let's go for, let's say, for example, just Tom. And then down in here, we have our clients. Now we have explicit and implicit. If I want to focus into the explicit, I can add a new client. And what I need to do is to have a license key. So this license key is going to be helping me to copy this actual one and paste that into settings and license key. So I'm going to go into copy and add their actual uh, ID is going to be pasted in here and automatically is going to be peering into our clients. Now, if I focused into my sessions, here's going to be peering how many people are inside, let's say for example, into my desktop, open, closed, error, or node. And lastly, we have the build. Here into the build is going to be, let's say, merged with the custom client generator. So this one is a little bit more tricky, but what you want to do is to ask the customer, let's say, what is the kind of the application that they do have. If they have a Mac OS, they have a Windows, and then what kind of uh, Windows it is, is MSI or 32, what is the build type, is it downloaded private or public, what is the build name, you want to fill all this information as you can, so you can start to fill a custom client generator. So there you go, guys. This is how you can get started into our actual AnyDesk application. Uh, as I just told you, we can use this for our friends, for our family, for our teammates, for customer service, and much more, even for in private and individual account, but that's truly totally up to you. And uh, so if you want to check it out how much this costs, if you want to check it out, if you want to have a trial version, you can do exactly the same things I just did before. You can request an actual um, full downloadable slide of any desk. You can check it out. This one is worthy for all your accounts, for your computers, for your phones, or whatever you want to use for user management or something else. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So hopefully this was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more apps like any desk for your personal use or much more thank you once again for watching the video guys and well hopefully i'll see you next time see you soon